are back at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and we are on, we've used the word spectacular and beautiful a few times, but uh, this is the real deal. We are getting aboard the Azimuth 103 by uh, Correct. One Ocean Yachts and we are fortunate enough to have with us Jose. So Jose Arana with One Ocean Yachts, thank you very much for having us. Like he was saying, Azimuth 103 Sport year 2008, but they have done a lot of work on this boat throughout the years. And as you can see, it's painted black. It's a boat that gets a lot of attention. It has incredible lines and incredible performance because this boat is water jet propulsion. And if you see down here, if you take a peek, those are the jets. Think of it as a huge wave runner. This boat only draws wow. four and a half feet on 103 feet of length. There's no other system that you can have to get this draft. So amazing for the Bahamas and shallow areas. The boat is very wide, 23 and a half foot beam. And then you have a sport bridge with a second driving station. This boat is all about entertainment and about having family friends going out for the day, the weekend, going to the Bahamas. The boat is based in Miami and it's never uh, been chartered it's only private use, this boat. Really? But it will do very well in charter. So we get a lot of uh, people that are interested in purchasing the boat, putting the boat on charter. It would be great for that. This boat would lend itself for charter. Amazing. It could do. And how many crew? So the boat has a crew capacity for four. Okay. And you have four guest cabins for eight people. Fabulous. Yeah. All right. We have a garage that you can have a tender and a wave runner. You can get a peek through here. It's not open the whole way, but you could see how the tender fits and the yeah. wave runners next to the tender. Everything is hidden and you can fit sea bobs and toys and inflatables in this area as well. Nice. We'll go up to the main deck aft you see there's a lot of space here this is where you see the beam and the proportion oh wow yeah this is so you have sun pad lounge seating arrangement table side lounge this is also shade that rolls out if you wanted to have this area with shade that is possible or you could leave it open like today there's a bar station here. You have your sink. You have an ice maker and a fridge. So you can service this whole area with this station. You don't need to go inside. Again, a lot of space. Great for entertaining. Yeah. You fit a lot of people here. You can have people laying down, lounge, sitting. Uh, so we go inside into the salon and again, you get a sense of the space inside. Can I just take that in? And the nice thing is you have modern furniture that is loose, so you can do different layouts and configure and distribute this furniture in different ways because it's not anchored, it's not fixed. The owner likes to have clean space throughout and you can see here you don't have cluttered furniture in the way there's a very good flow a lot of light big windows this is another great feature under this is all glass and it's a sunroof that opens completely oh, so you can be in the salon area and open the sunroof and get that air inside yeah that's spectacular at night it's great because you could also sit at the dining table Open this, look at the stars. Just Great gorgeous. feature. Yeah. There's a big TV that comes out of this. And here you have the main command center. So this is the main wheelhouse. And you can see how the water jet system works by Rolls Royce. They turn like pods. And it's, think of it as a 
wave runner, water jet type of system on a 103 foot boat. That's phenomenal. You monitor everything here, all your systems, your charts, radar, everything very clean, very well laid out. All of the nav equipment has been updated, so it's not original. The visibility it is, is recent. Fabulous. There's very good visibility. Yeah. There's a second station on the flybridge, but the captain actually likes to drive here because he has the AC and you, you know, he still has very good line of sight. Sure. You also have access on either side, so very good because the boat, you know, once you're outside, you can come in through starboard or port side. And then here on starboard side, if you go down these stairs, you'll see the galley. That's have a big fridge, all meal, top of the line appliances. Have oven, flat stove, dishwasher there, coffee machine, microwave, big fridge, fully equipped and all storage and cabinets throughout. Good size pantry. Huge sink. And you know, it's separate, but it's still easy to access and easy for the crew to have service in and out of this space. Because sure. sometimes the kitchens are tucked in and it's hard for them to manage. Sure. On the port side, we access through the staircase to the guest cabins. We have four. And so the four cabins for a total of eight guests. We're going to look at the master, which is aft. And this is an incredible cabin, completely separate. It takes the full beam of the boat. Wow. The amazing feature is you have the window design that is almost at sea level. So when you're in this cabin, you get oh, the yeah. feel of being right there with right the ocean the at that level. At night, you have the underwater lights, and it uh, creates an incredible effect that you could see the water at night. You have a desk, office area on this side, bathroom, with a separate toilet, a very nice shower, and two sinks. All of them done in glass, through one piece of glass. It's really amazing. Beautiful. King size bed, lounge seating on this side, and then this is all closets. Everything here is storage. You have a big TV, sound system, satellite TV, Apple TV, everything. And this is 2008? 2008. And uh, the boat has had two big refits. One of them, of course, that when it was completely painted in jet black and then they did work um, inside in the salon opening up the space taking out cabinets replacing the floor they did all the carpets new this is one of the guest bathrooms when you come down the staircase it's the first bathroom that can be used for guests at the same time this cabin from the inside can use that bathroom this would be your port guest that has two single beds. I have a small fridge here out in the hallway. You know, when guests want to take a water or something. That's handy. It's handy. There's another guest cabin on the starboard side with, again, with its own bathroom, two single beds. So now we're looking at the third cabin. The 
with Ensweet Head. Mm -hmm. All of them have TVs, an AV system. And then the fourth and last is the VIP, which is all the way forward. It's a very nice cabin. It's a very nice cabin. Master on any other boat. Mm hmm On sweet head. Very nice size. They really take advantage of space and storage they throughout. It, it, the spaciousness down here Correct. is just unbelievable. Like you said, you could consider this a, a master on most boats. Yeah. And here it's the VIP. So we're below deck. We go to the main deck again. And then we'll make our way through to the flybridge. It's not common that on a sport boat you have a flybridge, but Azimut managed to do that and still keep the line very modern. Yeah, the lines are from yeah. the lines are amazing. And you see here in the brochure, it looks almost like there is no flybridge because of the line and it's so modern. But they're able to have a very decent size sure. flybridge and it doesn't interfere with the line of the boat and the sleekness of it. On the port side, we make our way up to the flybridge. So Azimut refers this as a sport flybridge because we're on a sport yacht that's water jet and can do 35 knots. <laughs> but there's still plenty of space. You have seating, you have a second driving station, more seating for guests, and then you have lounge chairs, and plenty of space to hang out. That's the story of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great view from up here. Yeah, great. there's a lot of space. And if you come here, you could see the proportion of the length of this boat. You get wow. to see the glass sunroof that opens. And then a separate uh, seating and sun pad area on the bow. We'll go and take a look at it. You also have a sink, ice maker, and fridge. So there's another station to service this area. And a table that you can have 10 people here comfortable. That's all? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Good. Okay, so we go to the bow area. A lot of space here as well. You have seating, table area here your sun pads, full audio system, and you also have a bimini top canopy system that will keep you shaded here. Really, here as well? Yeah, and it hides in through here. Here's the shade system. It comes out and it covers this whole area up to here. Absolutely beautiful. They managed to keep the very modern line, but there's still plenty of space. Oh, sure. A lot of 
exterior space. It's a boat to entertain, to spend time outside, but you still have comfort inside with good four cabins. Definitely a boat for entertaining. It is. Excellent. Engine room, is that? Engine room yeah. and crew. Yeah. We can take a look at through here. Let's do it. And I'm okay. So this is the crew area. They have their own galley, which is very nice very because nice. they don't need to use the galley inside the boat. They have two separate cabins with a bathroom each. You could see the bunk arrangement and the bathroom behind us. They have their own kitchen, fridge, and obviously they have access for the control panels and access into the engine room. This is the captain's cabin, also with its own bunk and its own bathroom. Very spacious, very, spacious. very good size yeah. crew on this boat. And we make our way through here to the engine room. You have a worldwide power converter that allows you to hook up the shore power in the US or in Europe. That gives you the alternative of the different uh, power frequencies. You have two generators. Two MTU 2000 series. Each engine has 2300 horsepower. It's a lot wow. of engine. Your air conditioning chillers, your pumps. You have a water maker. And this is part of the garage. That's why you'd have to tuck and go through the middle or you can easily go through the sides. But the reason is this is the garage space where you keep the tender and the wave on it. Twenty three hundred each? Twenty three hundred horsepower each. And two generators. Two generators, one on each side. A lot of power. Jose, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. This has been an absolute treat, you know, going through Yasmin. 103 Sport. 103 Sport. Yes. Sorry, 103 thank you Sport. for coming. Thank you very much. We enjoyed it.